Hi guys! Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Oops, the daisies. I am pinning mine now. It's really bugging me and it's just coming down. Pinning my strawberry sweatshirt because I haven't done it yet. So I thought I'd come on a little bit early and start pinning. finger is still hurting. I'm not able to use it. To curl it like this. Hi Kim. Hi Rosie. Rosie's here today guys to answer your questions. So we are making this strawberry sweatshirt. I'm going to wait till we've got a little bit more uh, a few more people here online with us and then hello Tammy hi Jackie and then we are going to um, I'll start talking to you about what we're gonna do but for the time being I shall just pin and cut mm -hmm. I've got this lovely lilac hello Normandy Ohio Catherine and Nova um, yeah, I've got this lovely lilac that we had in our popping jazz kits. And we still actually have some popping jazz kits, although they're not online at the moment because the stock is in London. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely French terry. And Jasmine um, actually doesn't really have any sweatshirts, which is crazy. Oh no, that needs to be on the fold line. Okay, never mind. Do that one after. Um, so... There's quite a few little pieces on this pattern because we're making, because you've got the hem band, the cuff band, and, uh, oops, sleeves, and the neck band, and obviously the body pieces. So there's quite a lot to cut out. Mm -hmm. Lots of people are joining in now. Hi, guys. Hi, Lorianne. Hi, Pauline. Okay, so let's do a proper start. <laughs> so Rosie's here, those of you who've just joined. Um, so today we're making the straw, um, strawberry sweatshirt, which is from the Poppy and Jazz range. You can buy this one as a PDF or you can buy it as a paper pattern. And it goes up to six years old now. So it's from newborn to six years. So this one is a size six to nine months. And I'm going to be making Jasmine a three to four years one. Um, I'm going to be using French Terry and I'm just in the process of cutting mine out. Um, because I haven't done it. If you want to get hold of the pattern, uh, Rosie just popped a link to it and there'll also be a link in the comments box below. Um, all the information will be in the comments box below that you might need, including the schedule that we have for the rest of our sew alongs for the next couple of weeks. So next week I won't be here on Fridays, I'll be here Monday through to Wednesdays. And that's what we're gonna try and stick to from now on, just to give me a bit more time to process orders and do all my other bits and bobs. So. Uh, next week we are doing the pyjama bottoms and we are doing um, the elderly top. So we're going to make ourselves some summer pyjamas in lovely cotton. We have ordered some extra cottons that will be here definitely by Wednesday, if not Tuesday. Um, so um, you'll be able to buy some cotton then or you could buy now already. The Lisa Comfort um, cotton lawns would be really nice for this. Um, that's another option. Just gonna start cutting out now, guys. Um, and so, yeah, and then we'll get on the kids, on Monday, on the kids session, we are gonna be making flower mobiles out of felt. Um, and then we'll start the pajamas after that at two o'clock. And then the three sessions, so that, that session, and then the Tuesday and the Wednesday will all be on our pajamas. Um, so, and also I just want, if you are watching this and you haven't seen the other sew alongs, you might not know that these are now live our kids sewing packs so they will have all the bits and bobs that you need in them to do the kids sewing projects with us so i'm just now cutting out my cuff whoops um so yeah i'm just going to cut these little bits out as i waffle along 
Oh, we've got someone joining us from New York today. I think that was Alice. Hello. Um, so, um, as always, guys, um, like I said, all the information you'll need in is in the description box below, including the link to our coffee page or Kofi page. Who knows how we pronounce it? Um, so all of these so longs are free. We want everyone to be able to access them. So do share them with whoever you think might find them interesting or who could learn something. But if you can afford to, please do support us by buying us a coffee afterwards, um, just so that we can kind of make some, well, make some what? Make some coffee money. <laughs> We're not able to obviously run our operators that we normally do. So um, any support is welcome. And it also helps us to keep going with these sew alongs because I'm enjoying them and I think a lot of you are enjoying them. And thank you so much to everybody who has already donated. You're all being so generous and it means a lot to us and makes us all very happy. Every day in our team meeting, we um, talk about how wonderful everyone has been with their donations um, and it definitely keeps morale going. So thank you so much for those donations. Just so you know, guys, I should tell you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the um, Edie top from my capsule wardrobe work to weekend. Um, in it, you can't you can see the colours, but it's different coloured spots. I had this fabric um, for um, yes, Rosie's. Rosie's just put up a lovely message, which I completely agree with. Um, so yes, we ha I had this fabric for the poppy and jackets. For I think we made the pansy dress out of it. I can't remember. I think it was that. And Jasmine had a pansy dress in this. She looks so cute in it. Um, then of course now it's way too small for her. So one of my friends with younger children will have been given that. It's been passed over to them. Right, we're almost there, guys. I'm just now going to do my neckband. And then I am going to do my back. So, guys, what are we sewing with me today? Who's actually sewing one of these? And who's sewing something else? Let me know. Always interesting to know what people are doing. Because I can't see you. I don't know what you're doing. It's a one-way street. <laughs> a one-way camera. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oh my goodness, someone's working on an 18th century petticoat. Wow, you make costumes. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're at the beach. Wow, wonderful, Lorianne. What's the weather like there? Oh, people are sewing scrubs. Someone's in Algeria. <laughs> yeah, no, fair dues. If you're in America, I don't think you're expected to be sewing. <laughs> oh, somebody is working. Someone's sewing masks. Oh, it's a lot of community sewing going on, online community sewing. Oh, I'm glad the weather's nice, Lorianne. Oh, to be at the seaside. It is the most wonderful place being at the seaside. It just soothes your soul, doesn't it? I always used to say sewing soothes the soul. I do believe it does. I really do believe it does. It's very good for the soul. Okay, I'm just going to do now my hem band and then we can get on. So guys, today, if I seem a little bit flatter than normal, I'm not feeling brilliant today. Um, don't worry, I do not believe it's corona, but I do um, feel just a bit groggy. Um, I think I'm just really tired. Um, oh, someone else is making soap masks for New York, wonderful. Um, yeah, just feeling a bit groggy and tired um, and a bit coldy. I think I'm just running down really. I've been going at a like, crazy pace. Oh, someone made the Sylvia. Oh, it's raining in Bristol today. Oh, it's lovely and sunny here today in Yorkshire. A bit cloudy, but sunny as well. Intermittent sun. Ooh. And Rosie and I are still carrying on with all of your wonderful sale orders. Um, and also all those lovely orders we got yesterday for the fabrics, for the ultimate trousers. I saw all of those. I shall be making my way through those this weekend. Oh, thank you. Stratus Strong, is that your name? I don't want to say Stratus if that's not your name. 
thank you I will I'm sure all I need to do is rest and I'm going to take tomorrow off I have my day off tomorrow so I'm going to have tomorrow off and I intend on sitting in the garden I'm not going to go for a run I went for a run yesterday and I think my body needs a break and uh, I'm going to just yeah sit in the garden have a little nap in the afternoon maybe have a daytime bath that's my biggest luxury love that um, and maybe watch some Netflix. Um, so yeah, it's just some nice rest, I think, is what I need. Mm -hmm. Jasmine is going to be with her dad. He's coming up to see her. So yeah, me time, much needed me time. Ooh. If you've got little children at the moment, I'm sure you're struggling like I am to get me time. But it is so important. I'm now warm. I take it off. Right, okay, so I've done it. So let's just talk through the pieces that we've got. We've got a back, which needs to be cut on the fold. I've cut all my notches on that. So the notches are actually quite discreet on the back and front because they are on the... Oh, I didn't see. I didn't see what you said your name was, sorry. Put that message up again and I'll look. Um, so there and there at the bottom, centre front and yeah you need a break i do it's so tired laurianne i'm so tired last night i put jasmine to bed at half past seven mum and dad had cooked dinner for me they'd eaten a bit earlier um and never came out of bed i just fell asleep and slept through with her until half six i was that tired missed my dinner so and then i woke up feeling even more tired so Always a sign for me if I wake up feeling tired after a good night's sleep, it's usually that I'm getting ill. How's your finger? I can't use it yet, Pauline. There it is though, it's, it's healing well, but it's, it's still a little bit swollen. This is just my author creators. Ah, okay. Cosplays, art and story rights. Jarton comes from a story of mine, real name, Salvador. Hello, Salvador. Um. Okay, so what was I talking about, what I was doing? <laughs> Front, back pieces, they're both cut on the fold. We've also got the neckband cut on the fold. Two um, sleeves, because we have two arms. And then a pair of cuffs, not cut on the fold. And then the hemband cut on the fold, just one of those. So the items that are cut on the fold, you just need one, and the other items you'll need to cut two, or rather a pair. So you have a left and a right. Hello, Mr. Iron. Yep, yeah, we're welcome. We're happy to have you here with us today. Right, so first thing we are going to do um, is we're going to do the shoulder seams. So we're going to um, take the right sides together. So I'm using a French terry, so it's really nice and obvious for me what the right side and the wrong side is. Um, so I'm going to join them at the shoulder seams and the seam allowance. Oh, someone said, how did I hurt my finger? Well, the other day, I think it was Wednesday, I sewed through my finger during the live sew along. I didn't actually sew through it. The needle caught it and kind of ripped it at the end, but it's done fine. I was cleaning the bathroom the other day, though, and uh, <laughs> um, I didn't have any. I don't tend to clean with them. Um, marigolds with rubber gloves on and ended up getting bleach in it really hurt but probably made sure that there was no infection in there oh okay so seam allowance is one centimeter yeah it bent the pit bent the needle and everything i should have kept the needle as a like oh, like look what happened to my finger no it's fine it's, I've done it a, a lot worse. I've had it happen to me worse than that before. So we're sewing with a centimetre seam allowance. So if you're in the States or Australia, you might want to do that three-eighths of an inch rather than a centimetre. Um, make sure you line up your raw edges with that. So the raw edges go with your marker on the base of your machine. And then we're going to do this one. Whilst I'm doing that, actually, I shall put Mr. Iron up. All right, Bobby Bob Bob. Ooh. So I'll be taking a few more sacks of orders to the post office today. Now, the post office that I'm using 
here's the local, the next village's post office. It's a very small, cute village, and the post office is very small. <laughs> but we have a system now where I leave them. I basically get there just before the postman gets there, or postwoman in this case. And uh, yeah, I leave them. I sort of sit with them in the car and then pop them into the post van because I was basically taking up all the space in the post office with the, your orders. And they're like, what are you doing? I was like, Bruce brought my business up from London. You'll be seeing lots of me. Right, we're gonna press those seams open. It's like, this is actually, French Terry does press well usually, but it can curl. And I am getting that. It's pressed well and then it's curled like that. Anyway, the main thing is from this side, it's lovely and pressed. So then we're going to go on to the neck band and we are going to join up the little short edges like so. Like that. And then we are going to do a little bit of a um, stitch that seam, sorry, reversing at the start and at the end, and we've just sewed that seam on the neckband. One centimetre seam allowance, trim off those ends, and then now we're going to mm. Sal, okay, I'll call you Sal, that's easier for me to say. Oh, and Stratus Strata strong as a cloud. I was going to say it did sound like a cloud. But you know, you don't want to judge what people are called. So we're going to press that seam open like that. And then we're going to fold those wrong sides together. Whoops, a daisy. It's curling a lot. It's annoying. I have to say, I'm pleased that Jasmine is now three, or almost three, or wearing three to four years, because it is a little bit fiddlier for the smaller sizes. Yeah, it is tendency of French Terry, it generally curls, it's annoying. Right, okay, so there is our neckband. So what we're gonna do now, get that seam on that side and then fold it like that and mark the other side. Then we're gonna take that pin and place it with that seam. There we go. And we are going to pop pin in there. This neckline is really bugging me. I think it's meant to be a bit wider on me. Ugh. It's a problem I often have, and then we're going to do the same on the other side, is I've got quite narrow shoulders. So when I'm holding bags on my sleeve, um, shoulders will fall off. And I get that problem with um, these. So when we're doing... Um, mm, mm -mm. Sorry guys, tickly throat. When we're doing, um, trying on samples, so when we basically do the trial stage, we fit it on me. And we always kind of have to compensate for the fact that this, um, that I'm narrow in the shoulder. But I think when I make the next one of these, I need to take a bit out because, yeah, through the middle. Anyway, don't know why I'm telling you that. <laughs> it's the ED top guys, in case you didn't know. Fabric unfortunately is no longer available. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to line up that seam on the back with our centre back notch that we have in. Just so you're aware, the uh, front will dip slightly lower, so that's how you work out what's the front and what's the back, now that the pattern is off. So we're going to line up that seam and the raw edges 
with the raw edges of the neckline. So if I just pop that in a pin in and then I'll show you what I've done. There we go. That's the back. Then I'm going to do the same with the pin that I put in on the other side to mark the centre front. I'm going to place that on the centre front edge where the pin was. Okay. And then we've got a pin for the shoulder seam here. Um, and so make sure that that seam is still pressed open. Pin it in the opening stage. Opening stage, opening. Just make sure it's been pressed open. <laughs> I am a proper Miss Malaprop with my words. And when I'm not feeling 100%, I'm terrible. So I'm sorry, guys, if I'm not particularly articulate today. I promise I will be back on form on Monday. Right, that's... Okay, so there we go. Oh, Rosie's just popped up a link to the ED Top where you can get it as part of the Capsule Wardrobe ebook. So if you like this, you'll be able to find that um, in our Capsule Wardrobe as part of that, which is our ebook that was out last year. Out last year, last year, year before. Okay, so now we've got that, we need to just ease the neckband in. So we're gonna stretch the neckband to fit it into the neckline. Now this is such a, thank you. This is such a, um, a, a common thing with neckbands is you always make them about 10% smaller than the neck line so that they, um, they kind of pull it in. It's, usually, it's what you do. I mean, we've did that with the Audrey, we did that with the Bilberry t-shirt, the Elm t-shirt. It's very, very standard. I was thinking, guys, so next week we've, we've kind of got the schedule all locked down. The week after, we're gonna do the Eve dress, but I was thinking on the Monday, um, for like the beginner-ish session, we could do um, the Hebden t-shirt. And Sal, you'll like it because it's for men as well. Um, and I just thought, yeah, it might be quite nice for us to make something for guys if you're, or make something for yourself if you're a guy, or just make something for yourself. I thought, yeah, what do we think? Hebden t-shirt? I feel like we're on a roll with t-shirts, but they're quite nice and easy to, to make. And also it's nice if we can make them for someone else. And I thought I might make one for my dad. I also need to start making stuff for my mum as well. The new pattern that is out as part of the, um, oh gosh, the shoulder seams, I forgot to use the zigzag stitch. I don't think it matters so much there, but I'm going to pop that on. Now we need to do stitch length one, stitch width 1.5. So yes, my mum needs to have some, she absolutely loves, um, oh cool, okay guys, I'll do it. Um, so she actually um, loves the new pattern that came out of the, um, sorry, it's starting in the wrong place. So stop talking, Lisa. <laughs> Focus on what you're doing. Ah, I'm going to go to the um, centre back seam and start there. So yes, my mum absolutely loved the new pattern that is out, was out yesterday, PDF club members. Um, but it's not a quick sewing pattern. It's not a quick, and she's like, oh, I'd love one of those, Lisa. I was like, right, mum, well, you better start learning to sew. <laughs> I ain't got the time to make you that right now. Maybe I could make mum and dad matching head and t-shirts. That would be quite funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> They'd like to refer to themselves as staff, as in, oh, Lisa, you're the staff, uh, as a joke, because they're doing so much. They're cooking and cleaning and looking after Jasmine so that I can work. Um, so, yeah could make it be like this is your new staff uniform so cruel aren't i so cruel um what was i gonna say um yes so you can um are your parents creative uh, my dad is yeah my dad does pottery and he can do sort of drawing and painting mum not so much Although mum does craft sessions every day with Jasmine, but she used to be a primary school teacher, so she's bringing out all of her, her skills at the moment. Ma amazing. 
grandma that she is. So I was trying, I'm trying to say that the Hebden t-shirt is now available to buy as a PDF pattern, just like our other PDF patterns. Or if you're a member of Stitch School, and I know a lot of you have been signing up, which is wonderful. I think now is definitely the time to be improving sewing skills. We've all got the time, or most of us have. Um, um, so if you're a member of Stitch School, you can just download it. If you make the stuff shop for your parents, we need to see a picture of that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll put it up on Instagram. I've got, I, I have to do that now, don't I? I think Rosie, I don't have any Hebden t-shirts, so maybe you could uh, print me off a couple send them to me in the post. I need to have a look at what fabric I've got. Um, I might have some navy viscose, that would be good. So yeah, the Hebden t-shirt, you need to have viscose really. Um, Rosie says it's, yeah, it's free on both subscription levels for the Stitch School. Whatever level you're on, you will get it. <laughs> Yeah, Rosie's adding me to the queue. Yeah, I'm not a priority, Rosie. Don't need it for a while. It's poor Rosie, she's got like, she probably closes her eyes at night and all she sees is that big copy shop printer and all those patterns. It's, it's a bit like me. All I see when I close my eyes at night are um, those pink envelopes that we send, mailing bags that we send everything out in. Uh, it reminds me, when I was in Australia, I went to, um, to Australia when I was... 19 1819 did the classic kind of gap year went up the east coast and by the time we got well our money had run out very quickly so we were up in um oh gosh just north of byron bay can't remember what it was called but it was um before brisbane i believe or maybe it was after brisbane it was definitely before um early beach i remember that because i worked in a hostel there but we did uh, zucchini picking. So we did it for seven, I did it for seven days. My friend bailed at five days, she found it too hard. So you'd get up, you'd sleep on the farm and then you would get up and um, by the farmer would wake you up at like five in the morning with a torch in your face. <laughs> and then you would uh, get driven down in a truck down to the, the fields and uh, yeah, be picking and you'd pick the basically you cut them and the the kind of juice that came out of them when you cut them it actually irritated your skin so you get rashes because what you would do is you put the zucchinis or courgettes one two three four and then you'd stack them like bricks almost so you'd have like them like this and then you'd walk over to the boom which is the big long conveyor belt coming off the back of the tractor and you'd chuck them on there and you basically just do that all day in like 30 degree heat. And there were these enormous pro poisonous frog toad things that were like, ooh, that were just amongst it. Anyway, I remember what we would do is we would, we would freeze two litre bottles of water the night before and then over the day it would kind of um, defrost, but it means you would always have cold water. Yeah, seven days was long enough. Crazy people, some people are amazing, they do it. Um, all year round, they do different seasons, don't they? Fruit picking. Okay, right, off fruit picking onto this. So it's looking a little bit puckered, but we haven't got any pleats in there, so I'm happy with that. Oh, I say that, what's that there? I know we've got a little pleat, let's take him out. Let's redo that little bit. No good. <clears throat> Yeah, and then in the evenings, you'd go to bed about half seven because you'd be so exhausted. So you would eat dinner, and I think they'd give you dinner. And then in the evenings, um, we'd all sit in this barn where they had a TV and we'd all watch Neighbours. <laughs> a lot of uh, travellers and backpackers. Um, and uh, yeah, watch Neighbours and then go to bed. Susie Blouse. Oh, it's a request for a sew along. Ooh, we'll make a note. <laughs> So, have I unpicked enough? There's no point in unpicking too little because you need to stretch it. The toes were interested to kill something, we end up killing it and everything else could eat. Oh gosh, really? Mm. Mm. Toads, yeah, they were toads, they were enormous. Horrid, horrid, horrid. But anyway, the reason why I brought that story up was that every night I would go to sleep and you basically, everyone who was picking would just say that it's the same. You'd just see zucchinis, dream of zucchinis, you'd see them. Yeah, but we earned a lot of money that kept us going for a bit. Right, there we go. 
So now, guys, we're going to go on to sleeves. Um, so we're going to open it out like so. Oh, I haven't pressed it. We, I'll go and press it um, next time I go to the iron. But you do need to press that down towards um, the sweatshirt. So sleeves, you're going to put these in in the flat way because they're not particularly, the sleeve heads are relatively flat. Um, so there isn't even a difference between the front and back of the sleeve. So we're just going to line up the notch and the sleeve head with the shoulder seam. Make sure that your shoulder seam is still kept pressed open. So pop those pins in like I always do. Um, okay. So I need a cover stitch machine. Have you got one, Lorianne? I don't actually. What do, would a cover stitch machine do? I know it obviously does um, that kind of stitching around the top, um, kind of top stitching. But what else does it do? Tell me, Lorianne. I really should have one, shouldn't I? I guess because I've never really done that much jersey. But also, there's no point in me having one because if not everybody else has one, then I'd be like, look at me with my lovely cover stitching and everyone would be like, well, I can't do that. So really, it's because I'm a martyr that I don't have one. Maybe we should get one and leave it, have it at the shop and then all of us can use it. Maybe it should be a treat for the Soho team, a cover stitch machine. Mm -hmm. So when I'm pinning this one, I'm actually pinning from, I'm going to pin from this side. The cover stitch machine only does one thing. Okay, I did think it was just that, just the neckline. I mean, just the top stitching, yeah. A baby lock, it's a chain stitching machine, stitches stretch with jersey, yeah. Rosie's on board with that suggestion. Okay, well, Rosie, let's see. See if we um, can treat ourselves to a great for hems. How much are they, guys? I know you'll only be able to tell us in the uh, how much they are, and if you've only got if you're in the states or whatever. But how much are they? You can tell us in dollars. Let's see what we're working towards. We always joke at work that you know we're saving up for a company yacht. It's a joke, obviously, <laughs> millions of pounds. Um, but maybe we should be saying we're saving up for a cover lock machine. Yep, Anessa, you guys are my witnesses. I've said it. I know what will be mentioned at the uh, team meeting on Monday now. I think we've earned it though, Rosie, haven't we? Right, I pinned that. And I pinned that. Okay. About five, oh, it's not that expensive, $500, that's US dollars. I wonder if, if Janome then maybe should send us one, Rosie. I bet we could wangle one from Janome. Ooh. Oh, cover lock and cover stitch. The baby lock's expensive about to, but the Janome's are good. Okay, well, we will find out from Janome if they've got one and we'll see if they can give us one. And if not, we'll treat us to ourselves on. Because I think if it's, do you know me, then we can get one at cost price. So we could be a lot cheaper for us. <laughs> I like your thinking. Uh, so. Get rid of the evidence. You never said it. I'm a, I'm a woman of my word though. Once I say something, I do it. Sometimes it's bad because it means if I've got an idea and I really want to do it, <laughs> I will still do it even if we don't have the time to do it. But in this instance, it's a, it's a good thing. Oh, we're getting the so quake, aren't we? Sorry. Centimeter seam allowance again here, guys. Just, you will have to make sure that those fabric edges stay together because you've got a slight curve there, you're joining. <laughs> Yuki from £700, I'd put it towards the yacht. 
the thing is, Pauline, is the yacht is so far off. I don't even think at retirement age we'll be getting that. We sometimes joke that we'll get a rowing boat and we'll be able to take it out on the canal. <laughs> if we really wanted yachts, we would be in a different line of work. I'm much happier not having a yacht and uh, being loving what I do for a living. However, if anyone has a yacht and wants to invite us on, that's also, we're more than happy to have a team away day on a yacht. <laughs> I've heard there are a lot of work as well, a lot of upkeep. I'm sorry, I should have said I'm still using that little zigzag stitch. Stitch length one, stitch width 1.5. Making sure that my seams are pressed open and it's just curling back the seam allowance there. So I've just put my needle in, lifted up my presser foot and then tucked it back in. So on Sunday, guys, I'll still be doing my Q&A. It is for Lisa Comfort Home, so it's not sewing-related questions. But if you want to tune in on Instagram, um, on the Lisa Comfort Home account, I do it every Sunday at 2 o'clock. Yes, the pattern I'm wearing is one of ours. It's the ED Top, part of my capsule wardrobe city break. Not city break, worked a weekend. Okay, so I'm going to trim those off. I'm going to press because the next thing we're going to do is joining the side seams and the underarm seams, but I don't want to do that. I'd rather, it's easier for me to press the neckband now, so I'm going to go and do that. Oh, the baby lock sounds wonderful. Oh, you can't see me, can you, stupid? What am I doing? Where, am I, where do I normally put it? I put it there, don't I? Okay, over we go. So, we are now pressing that seam allowance down towards, I've got it be easier actually using it at the end of the ironing board, down towards the uh, sweatshirt. I'll tell you, this is not, this is not pressing well. You could do some top stitching like we do on uh, the adult thing, the adult, and even on the, um, on the Elm t-shirt you could top stitch as well but I do find Jazzy's got quite a large head for her age not that I really know what you know then no one tracks it but I just know from other clothes that I put on her and so I really don't want to make this any less stretchy and if I do two um, zigzag stitches around the neckline so it was in the one that we've sewn and then the one that I'm for the top stitching it would be um, Oops. It would be uh, even like less stretchy, so I think I'm going to not bother. So let's just have a look at where we're at and what things are looking like. So you can see now it's taking shape. Neck band is on. So we're now going to pin these like so. So we're going to pin, I'm going to fold those up towards the sleeve. And we're going to pin from the underarm down the side seam. And this is very standard in t-shirt making and sweatshirt making techniques. I did really want to do a sweatshirt pattern for adults um, that you could also kind of lengthen into like almost like a sweatshirt loungy dress. And we were going to do that for stitch school. Um, I think we were going to do it before Christmas, but we decided to do the head pin instead but I think I might put that back on the list maybe for this autumn because I don't really have, oh, a hoodie. Oh yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? I don't really have like loungy clothes and I was saying this to someone the other day and they're like, what, you don't have tracksuit bottoms? I was like, no, I have running trousers, but I don't really have clothes that I lounge around in. I'm kind of, I just stay in my clothes when I come home from work or I put my pajamas on, but rarely do I do that. I usually just 
stay in them. But um, she was like, oh, Lisa, everyone needs some really loungy, comfy clothes. So um, I think um, I will, uh, oops, yeah, I think a sweatshirt at least. I bought a sweatshirt the other day, actually, well, not the other day, about a month ago, and I have worn it quite a lot. It's really nice. I think because I tend to dress up rather than dress down, I sort of have bypassed all those comfy clothes. But yeah, if I could make one, I think I'd like it more. Ooh. So, watch this space, guys. Lounge dresses, yeah. I like that idea. Because often I've got tights on anyway, I've got a dress on. So just you could just take that dress off and then put a lounge dress on. Ooh, guys, we might have coined a term there. A new thing. I remember in Friends... Um, Joey called his um, tracksuit bottoms or what apartment pants. It's like an apartment dress. <laughs> right, we're now going to stitch this with a centimeter and a, sorry, a centimeter seam allowance, three eighths of an inch, and we are going with the zigzag stitch again. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're doing fine. loungewear <laughs> yes the loungewear and thanks guys for all these comments on cover lockers um or baby locks and things i will read them afterwards um because yeah sounds like we need to be reading up on this and investing boom oh i put i saw i put a pin that the wrong way doll Rosie, you're seeing note of this. Lounge dress, stitch school. Tell the... Uh... So yeah, the standard seam allowance on Poppy and Jazz is a centimetre. Got to get that up on your board. Rosie normally has the board of uh, patterns, releases and everything on by her desk. So I actually don't have a desk at work um, because I'm sort of sometimes there and sometimes work from home. I didn't want to take up a prime place. So Rosie has it. And also then she can make sure that, you know, I don't go along and sneak little extra patterns in there. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Oh, we're, we're vibrating again. We're going to have PJs next week at least, guys, aren't we? Yeah, I'm pretty excited about those because actually she's putting it on her virtual board. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Rosie. Yep, so squeak, Sal, so squeak. Um, so uh, I had something I was going to think about to say about them. I think it was someone's comment and it made me think of something and now it's gone. Oh, yeah, PJs. I'm very excited about that because actually um, I've only got one pair of pyjamas here. So um, I'm borrowing mum's um, when I'm washing my other ones. And uh, yeah, uh, I'd like my own. I'd like two pairs of my own. So yeah, it wasn't a selfish decision decided to do that, guys. <laughs> what do I need? Do I need those? No. I thought it was a good one because I, li I liked things not to be too ch ch tricky because I don't want to exclude anybody that doesn't have that skill set. And I feel like the pyjama bottoms are nice and easy and the elderly top's a bit trickier with the uh, bias binding, but you don't have to do that. You could just make the pyjama bottoms and then just wear a t-shirt. Ooh, a Bilbrey t-shirt. Could still be an also over it. I shall be suggesting that. Oy! open and then we can put our cuff and hem band on okay let's trim these off so i'm now going to press those open mm. it's 
easier actually if I come down here and do this. Do you know what I really want to do as well, guys? I'm giving away all my secrets. Um, really, really want to do like a beautiful 1940s or 1930s style dressing gown. Just love to do that. So I love the kind of, I do like kind of nice nightwear. Like I do like my pajamas, but I also like a nice nighty and a nice long um, kind of satiny dressing gown type look. Um, and uh, yeah, I really want to get something like that. I haven't seen anything anywhere apart from vintage ones um, that are a bit too vintagey. So that's on my list. It's probably for next year though not going to happen this year guys all of our pdfs are already kind of in the mix to an extent patterns we decide at the by the start of the year we've decided on most of the patterns for the, that year and if we haven't they usually decided on by january Ooh okay hem band and we are going to do right sides together on these little short bits you've got a little notch there dressing gown as robe yes oh yes we have yeah i forgot about that rosie yeah we had a gorgeous idea for that didn't we yeah for some posh pajamas forgot about that one. Oh yeah guys will be all so sophisticated with our nightwear next year so Oh no, I've lined it up with five eighths. It's one centimeter, three eighths of an inch. Okay, let's press this open. Now, I'm going to fold it in half like that. Oh, people are liking that dressing gown idea. Thank you, dokes. Leave it with me. Dressing gown, dressing robe. <clears throat> We're all going to be like Downton Abbey-esque, aren't we? With our like fancy dressing gowns. Waltzing around our non-stately homes. <laughs> Feeling like we could be in a stately home. Oh, very great Gatsby. Now... Hem band. We can do exactly the same that we did with the neck because it will be smaller so that it, it, it cinches in at the bottom. So we're going to make sure we fold it like that with the seam there and then put a pin in there. And then we are going to fold that pin to that seam. Oops. I don't know what am I doing. I'm pinning the whole thing together. Like so, and then we're going to pin that there, because those two are lined up there. Exactly what I did with the neckband, and put one there. So it's basically marking, folding it into quarters, so we've got quarter points. Then the seam, at this time I'm going to put at the side seam, so that it runs into there. Oops. It's kind of, I've got this right side together, and we're going to slot that on like so and pin then I'm going to pin the centre front there with the fault pin that I've got in there then the next pin I'm going to put in with the other side seam. Make sure that that's pressed open. And then the last pin I'm going to Catherine, no, this machine is not on sale on the Servit website, but 
we do have machines on sale on the Sovit website. So if you want to get yourself a new machine, do you know me are dispatching? You can order it through us on the website and it can get sent out. Right, so now what we're going to do is stretch that waistband um, onto here. Especially if, we're, if we've got some people watching this who are new to sewing, um, we're hoping that you know, some of these patterns are really good ones to make for beginner sewers or beginner dressmakers. And so you might not yet have invested in a sewing machine. You might have been borrowing your neighbours. And now in the lockdown, they've asked for it back. <laughs> but you can order a sewing machine from us and they are still on offer at 299. Um, so this is my personal machine, yeah. The Benina, she's very expensive, but a much better price, more mid-range and just as nice machine. Rosie's just linked, whoops. Rosie's just linked to it. Okay, so I'm stretching that hem band again. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Okay, so now that that has been eased on we're going to start at the side seam and we are going to do exactly the same so we need to really make sure that we stretch that sweatshirt when we sew because we've got to get that waistband around we don't want any puppers i'm really stretching the waistband or rather the hem band as i sew i'm using a centimeter seam allowance again three-eighths of an inch and I've got my zigzag stitch still as well. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Love a bit of squash when I'm not feeling well. It's a very English thing isn't it squash? Cordial. So English that they even use it at uh, Wimbledon. Robinson squash. I guess because the sugar. When I go for my long runs, I often run with squash. It gives you a bit more sugar than uh, water, obviously. After we've done this, guys, we have just got the cuff bands to do. So I'm going to do one cuff band with you all. Um, and then I'll finish the other one um, off camera. We're doing really well for time, though. No, it's a cordial lorian. So basically it's like a syrupy cordial type thing. Usually like orange squash or lemon squash or blackcurrant. We have a drink called Ribena that's blackcurrant. And uh, you just add a little like that much in the glass and then the rest water. Love it. I think in France they have like sirop. So they have it there, it's like, but it's more syrupy and they have interesting flavors like mint and strawberry but yeah here it's generally orange, orange or lemon black currant oops you can get other flavors but those are the most common right we're now going to press that um down and just turn this inside out slotting it on the end here and i'm going to press that 
some chat about satin PJs. The wonder that is satin. So I was just pressing this up, sorry, not down. I'm pressing it up. <laughs> up towards um, the jumper. Now you could again do some top stitching here if you wanted to. I'm gonna see what it's like when I'm finished and decide, because I don't like the look of top stitching, but this is a sweatshirt, so it is meant to be cash. Let's have a look at how it's looking. Ooh. Oh, no, it looks puckered there, but that's not, it's not puckered, it's just the way that the neckband sits. So guys, we're almost there. We've just got to do the cuff band. So let's do one of those together. Um, so we're just gonna do exactly the same technique as the neck band and the hem band. Right sides together, join the, um, thank you Kim. Thank you, Vanessa. Join the shorter ends together. Centimeter seam allowance. those seams open. And then, like this. Oh, this is going to be fiddly. Folding it like that, wrong sides together. And then I'm just going to press that open. I'm sorry, press that fold in. So it looks like a cuff, yeah? Okay, and then I'm going to slot that onto the end of the sleeve. So that is right sides together. Obviously the cuff doesn't have a right side or a wrong side, but um, we need to be on the right side of the sweatshirt. Make sure that at that point where all those seams join, the seams are pressed open, otherwise it's gonna get very bulky at that point. And then you are going to have to stretch it a little bit to get it to fit. It's not as much as for the neckband. Oops, daisies. Because it's very fiddly, so you don't want to be overstretching. Now, this little bad boy will not fit onto the end of the machine, so we're going to have to do it in little sections, starting at that seam. So making sure that you pull the other side of the cuff out the way. And take your pins out. Ow, I can't. So annoying not being able to use this finger. Ah. Okay. Just do little sections at a time. So I'm just pulling that section into in front of where I've got. So I've got a little flat bit. And then I'm pulling it round again. And then I'm pulling it round again. Take that pin out. Is there a reason that you don't sew the cuff on when the sleeve is open? Mm, yeah, because then you won't get a neat finish. Um, you'd have to sew the cuff and then you'd sew it up and then you'd get kind of a, a not particularly nice join at the cuff end and this way the end of the cuff is all lovely and kind of continuous I hope that makes sense otherwise you would get yeah a little join that would look a bit clumsy and then what would happen to the seam allowance it would be there sticking out you'd see it i think this way it's neater it's just a bit fiddlier to sew Okay. 
So that also gets pressed up like we've been doing. And there we have it done. Obviously, we've got to do the other side, but ta-da! Oops, it's that way, isn't it? Ta-da! Oh, there we go. Right, guys, that was project for today. I love doing that, nice and satisfying and quick. Thanks for joining me and for chatting along with me. Um, I'll be back on Monday here on this YouTube channel where we'll be doing um, our kids at one and then we'll be starting our pyjamas at two. So hopefully I will see some of you for then. Um, I might also see some of you on Sunday on the Lisa Comfort Home account. I'll be live doing my tea and a chat at 2 p.m. Um, but until then, um, have lovely afternoons, have nice weekends. Thank you to all of you who've been donating, really much appreciated. Um, the link will be going up soon again, I'm sure, from Rosie. It's in our description box. Um, and uh, yeah, really nice, fun chatting to you all. Um, and if you want to link to the pattern as well, it's in the description box below. Also, thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe to this channel. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.